We're seeing the handshake, we're seeing waves press back and forth, TPs and flashes traded, no kills, no objectives going down yet, but as level six gets closer and closer for the junglers, the plays will start to come through. That said, Malrank will be behind in terms of individual XP. It would be difficult for him to make these early game plays. Look at the aggression from Larson on this is here. We already talked about he's been having a great weekend, but when you give him a comfort pick like this, especially with how strong as he is in the meta right now, you can see how dominant he is being in the isolated 1v1. Wow. Look at all yeah, Caps. Forward, trying to force it. The ulti now coming out. Caps with a clean side step, pulling it back under tower. Larson now trying to escape. Caps has to be careful about falling forward because Malrang is now on the way and he doesn't even need to finish the skeleton. He's trying to get one. That's for blood for G2. It's beautiful from Caps, and I think he spellbooked a heal there to bait the 1v1. So Larson thought he had a kill, heal comes through, charm connects, Jankos does the rest. Just as I'm singing the praises of Larson, Caps goes and breaks his ankles like that. What a phenomenal play. The setup from Caps was beautiful. They burnt Larson's flash earlier on. Remember, level two, flash from Caps into the charm. But let's have a look back at this play from Caps here. He's so low, Larson feels confident to make the play. He dashes forward with this HP, pops the heal. He then dashes away, lands the charm, oh. sidesteps the ultimate. Oh my word, Claps is definitely feeling it here in game three. It's beautiful, isn't it? So well executed, dashes forward to get a reset last second.